Today, we are learning Meadow Fill. This is the start of three designs I've included that are the most complex in terms of layering different elements we've already learned together into some crazy textures and patterns. This one reminded me of flowers in a field, so I named it Meadow Fill. We begin the process with plaid weaving, which you may recall starts with some stripes laid down on the ground layer. I'm making my stripes four threads thick and placing a decent little gap between each stitch to make the weaving possible. The amount of space between your stripes is up to you, but I like to keep it about the same size as one of the stripes themselves. We'll then go back in the perpendicular direction to add our woven crossing threads, again making stripes four threads thick with a bit of space between each stitch. Each thread weaves over and under the ground threads with the next stitch offset and weave from the one before. Once we've completed our base of plaid weaving, our next step is some whipped trellis. We'll be whipping our thread around the ground thread stripes, and basically this is an alternating whip, so we're skipping every other cross point in order to get an X over one point and nothing on the next. X on the next point, then nothing, and so on. Offset where the X's fall for each new stripe until you've whipped all the ground threads. Now we'll repeat the process on the crossing threads, and while it's sort of the natural instinct to place the X's on the empty squares, we actually want to keep the X's we're now creating on top of the existing ones from the previous whip. In this way, we're creating a sort of star shape of intersecting threads on top of every other cross point, while leaving the ones in between empty. Whipping complete, we'll now move on to the final step for this look. We'll add some diagonal stitches which wrap around the intersection of the whipped threads much like we did back with sheaf filling. So make sure you're coming up on the edge at a place where your thread will cross over the intersecting whip stitches rather than the empty plaid weave. Then you'll slide your needle underneath all four of those threads right through the center. Slide it under the same place again, going in the same direction, to make a little loop that pulls those threads together to form the center of a flower. Then move on to the next intersection on the diagonal and repeat the process. Move across the shape on this diagonal, adding new stitches that slide underneath each star of whip stitches twice to create that tightened center. Finally, 
Finally, we'll repeat the process in the opposite direction, so crossing over the same intersections with those flower shapes on them, we'll again slide our needle under the center, much easier now that it's already tied together, then slide it under once more and move on to the next flower. With all the diagonals complete, we have our finished meadow fill. And we're done!